What? What you got to say now? What? You want my, what? What you got to say now? What you got to say now? You ain't got to say when you put your girl on the snap. All right, so you see it. I don't know if this is a sick game that they used to play or if this is just some more torment at the hands of Diddy. Under this blanket, supposedly Cassie. Now, she's making no attempt to speak. She's being very compliant. It's almost like she's being told to crawl around like a dog under a blanket. I don't know. I'm only speculating. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But this guy, oh wait, hold on one second. If you have not subscribed to the channel by now, what are you doing? Sub up and make sure that you watch this video all the way through to the very end. I'm sure there's a lot more where this came from. And these are old videos that are now coming to the forefront because, yeah, he made it a priority. I'm gonna say to ignore his legal team. Like, I don't know who is giving him legal advice, but at this point, Sean Combs decided to go away from his post he put a post up on his ex account his twitter account if you have not seen i'm gonna put it on the screen right here now on this post he not only wrote this in response to the allegations that cassie put out in a lawsuit well i told you in the last video that lawsuit was settled within 24 hours people are even saying that this was in the range of between 30 and 50 million something like that I'm talking about like a lot of money because it was just bad publicity for him but look at this post and this is still on his brother love account yeah he go by the name love anyway look right here at the very top take note that this is not just saying that this was posted on December 6 2023 this is pinned he intentionally put this at the top of his account to give people notice that hey before you see anything else that I put on my account you need to see this so let's read it for the last couple of weeks I have sat silent and watched people try to assassinate my character destroy my reputation and my legacy Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. And let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of those awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth, Sean Diddy Combs. So yeah, and it's titled, Enough is Enough. Yeah, enough is enough of your lying. So fast forward a few months after the lawsuit, he denied it. And then he went ahead and maintained that position until that video came out. Now, I'm going to pin it to the top right here, but you'll see from my earlier video how that video was just disgusting. I'm talking about like, man, just think of the level of hatred for a person to just fight somebody who's defenseless who's trying to get away kick them drag them multiple times just like dog walking her treating her like trash like no regard for her well-being at all and then to cap that all off throw a vase at her or some type of object in the public's eye you know what i mean like you know that these ritzy these high class hotels has what do they call them? Surveillance cameras. They all over the place. Yeah, people are even saying that he paid $50,000 to get the footage in order to cover this up. So, wherever that video came from, it's in the public now. So, he recants everything. He just want to set the record straight. You know, like I said, I don't know who is, who is like defending him, who is like giving him instruction on what he should and shouldn't do but this guy decided to go and and post a domestic violence apology <laughs> on facebook on twitter and wherever he posted it he posted it on social media like literally trying to apologize for domestic violence like trying to clean up his image 
he really want to get things right with the people you know what i mean like he got a a legacy to maintain matter of fact if you are one of his children and you think that you're going to be able to capitalize on that legacy that billion dollar legacy the man has like a billion dollars he got like multiple kids i'm talking about i don't know he probably got between five and eight kids something like that and he's a billionaire i don't know him to ever be married but that's re that's that's irrelevant at this point the guy at this point decides to go on social media and apologize let's go ahead and listen to his apology but before we listen to his apology let me finish with this post that i just read now you know twitter they put something up called a community note if you don't know what a community note is it's whenever somebody put a post up and the post has been verified or looked into to be a lie misinformation uh you know like trash fake news yeah they put a community note and right under his post that he has pinned ever since he created on december 6 2023 the community note says cnn has released the surveillance footage from the hotel where sean diddy combs is throwing and kicking kicking cassie ventura so yeah you just kind of at the point now you just you should just like just just go with the flow right he just like leaving it there ain't no reason to take it down now but like i say the guy came out with an apology and this is what he decided to say it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. So yeah, what y'all thoughts on this? This guy's a habitual liar and he tried to clean up beating somebody by putting out a post, an apology post, domestic violence post. Like I say, man, I don't care what kind of money that a person has, you can clearly tell that he has no class. So the sheer audacity, mm, 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 mm. Just one of them things, right? No class, man. Got a billion dollars. Been in, the, been in the limelight for like well over 20 years. And you just still a horrible person, man. Like, anybody who's like in his corner defending him at this point, they're equally trash as he is. Like, the guy is a bitch like there's no other way to say it and it's gonna be like that forever because this ain't the first time man it can't be it can't be the first time that this woman was treated that way and um she got paid but now what she moved on with her life her husband her children her family they're going to have to deal with this and they're going to have to help her through this and they're going to have to find a way to get themselves through this this healing process ain't going to be quick like the video share the video and stay tapped into the channel because i have more content coming out soon